Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I like that intro a lot more because it kind of brings a vibe that I usually didn't bring by saying what's up in the beginning, but I'm still gonna do that every once in a while. But we're going to be comparing the iPhone 11 newly released, one of the best phones in the market right now for the price, compared to a phone that actually is pretty expensive in the brand new market, but is fairly cheap in the used market, or at least way cheaper and even cheaper than the iPhone 11, and that is a Samsung Galaxy S10. And you might think this is a random comparison, you might think this is very weird, but in reality, these phones have a lot of similarities, but there's also a lot of differences as well, don't get me wrong. But I think between both of these, obviously the more feature-packed one would probably be the Samsung Galaxy S10, but that doesn't always equate in brand new price. But that's why I always bring the used prices in, because the S10 in the used market is cheaper than the iPhone 11. But I'll talk about those in a second. But the iPhone 11 just came out in September. The Samsung Galaxy S10 was released in February, so... It was actually released in March, but announced February, so a couple months, you know, it's a little bit older than the iPhone 11, but not by much. And looking at the front, this is where we see one of the first similarities. We have 6.1 inch displays on both of them. So both panels, you know, they're 6.1 inches, but as you can see, the Samsung Galaxy S10 has that hole punch display where the iPhone 11 has that notch. So in reality, you know, maybe the iPhone 11 S10 will show the same stuff on the screens, maybe whatever. In terms of the way they both look and feel and everything, I definitely do like the S10's display way more than the iPhone 11's. And that has a lot to do with, you know, the iPhone 11 being a liquid retina display. It's an IPS panel. The out resolution is 828 by 1792 versus the Samsung Galaxy S10's panel. That is a dynamic AMOLED display. That one is 6.1 inches, like I stated, but that one is 1440p by 3040. So that resolution on that display is so much higher than the iPhone 11's that it's not even funny. I wish, you know, the iPhone 11's display was at least an OLED, that way we could have some difference there, but without a doubt, the Samsung Galaxy S10 has the way better panel, and even looking around the phone, the Samsung Galaxy S10 feels like a way premium device, at least way more premium than the iPhone 11. The chassis of the S10 feels so much better. I'm not trying to say the iPhone 11's panel or body feels bad or anything, but I definitely do like the S10's without a doubt. There's glass on both on the back of these devices. A really funny thing though is that the iPhone 11 on the bottom only has the lightning port, but the Galaxy S10 has both the USB Type-C as well as a headphone jack, which is super surprising. I wasn't expecting, you know, the headphone jack to still stay on the S10, but we got it, which is really nice. Triple camera setup on the S10, dual camera setup on the 11. I'll talk about those in a minute, probably more in a different video, but that's pretty much it in terms of the outside. The method to unlock both of these phones though, we have Face ID on the iPhone 11. On the Samsung Galaxy S10, we do have some Face ID unlocking feature type of thing, but the main primary one is the fingerprint sensor below the display. The reason I bring this up is because just recently we had an exploit for the Samsung Galaxy S10 where apparently any fingerprint could unlock the S10's fingerprint sensor, which, and I wouldn't have brought up if Samsung didn't, you know, make a response about it, but they did and they're going to fix it, but that's pretty crazy and it definitely doesn't make the Samsung Galaxy S10 look good or look any better than what it was before. So just trying to be as transparent as possible. IP68 does some water resistance on both and that's pretty much it in terms of the outside, you know, in terms of the software, we have Android Pie on the Samsung Galaxy S10, but we just recently got One UI 2 on it, which is Android 10, so that's pretty cool. iOS 13 on the iPhone 11. In terms of software support, in terms of stock software support, the iPhone 11 will definitely outlast the Samsung Galaxy S10, but you're still going to get a couple more versions of Android on stock software support on the Samsung Galaxy S10, so it's not going to be all too bad on the S10, but on top of that, there's always going to be custom ROMs available, as well as a root out for the S10, so even if you, you know you don't like the specific version of Android you're on, you want to go upgrade, there could potentially be an option for you to upgrade through third-party support on the Samsung Galaxy S10, where the iPhone 11 doesn't necessarily have that as of right now, but that could very well happen very soon, but as of right now, where there's not really that big of a community behind it. So without a doubt, like I stated, iPhone 11 probably outlasts the Samsung Galaxy S10. Now moving on to the performance and actually a speed comparison between these, I'll tell you the specs of both the phones and I'll go actually do a quick comparison between them. The iPhone 11 has the Apple A13 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU with 4GB of RAM. The Samsung Galaxy S10 has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset, an octa-core CPU, an Adreno 640 GPU, and 8GB of RAM on both the models. So there's a 128GB model as well as a 512GB model. And let's go and see which one is the faster phone. If I had to say it, dude, I honestly do not know. I have the same apps on both. Dude, I would probably say the Samsung Galaxy S10 is going to be pretty close. Well, I, I think that iPhone 11 will actually beat the S10, but I could be totally wrong, but I honestly don't know. So we'll just see which one is faster in this comparison. All right, everyone, welcome to the comparison. Let's go and start loading these apps up. Now I have mostly the same apps on both of them. All apps are cleared out in the background. 
This one is actually on One UI 2. So you'll see the gestures and everything which are a little bit different, but let's go and start loading them up. Let's do Facebook, three, two, one. And you can see iPhone 11 already loaded, Samsung Galaxy S10 taking its time. I don't know why it's taking the Samsung Galaxy S10 this long. I think it might have updated or something, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Snapchat, three, two, one. And I'm not too sure which one was faster there, but if you guys could tell over the camera, you guys could probably see it. And then Facebook randomly loaded up. Instagram, three, two, one. And iPhone 11 already loaded, Samsung Galaxy S10 shortly after. Twitter, three, two, one. And I would say the iPhone 11, I think, was the faster one there as well. <laughs> wow. Bofa, three, two, one. And you can see the Samsung Galaxy S10 actually got into that one faster. So Dropbox, three, two, one. And they were almost even. Maybe one was faster than the other. I'm not too sure. Quizlet, three, two, one. And the Samsung Galaxy S10, again, was a little bit faster there. Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. And the Samsung Galaxy S10 was just like a split second faster. It's getting into some gameplay. You'll see, I mean, it's not that big of a difference, really. It's almost the same thing. But yeah, pretty, pretty close. Temple Run, let's do that one. Three, two, one. And you see, we will have to restart this one. I was already loaded up into that one. Temple Run again, three, two, one. Let's go and see which one is faster. And the iPhone 11 actually got into that one faster, getting into some gameplay. Let's see which one is faster, and I can tell you they're almost exactly the same. Not a big difference, a very minor small game. Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And we will have to restart this one because I have to accept the stupid thing, I don't know why. Fruit Ninja again, three, two, one. iPhone 11, faster. Samsung Galaxy S10 shortly after. Another thing is you can see, resolution is a little bit different on both. These are kind of cropped off on the side. Kind of weird, but not a big deal to me. Let's go and load up a real racing. Three, three, two, one. And as you can see, the iPhone 11 actually got into that one. This one is still loading. This one is still loading. I don't even know why. We've been loaded on this thing. Like, we already downloaded it, so I don't get why it's still loading. I'm not too sure what's going on with the Samsung Galaxy S10. I mean, we already, like, downloaded on this one, so not too sure. There's no point in, like, keeping it loaded in the background. Not too sure what happened there. But ultimately, this was really weird. I mean, there were some times where the apps were faster on the Samsung Galaxy S10, but also sometimes where the apps wouldn't even load on the S10. So it's kind of flip-flop. There's like some cases where one's better than the other, but very strange. I mean, I don't think there's a consistent winner every single time, but I'm very surprised about how the speed is still super competitive on the iPhone 11, even at a smaller brand new price tag than the Samsung Galaxy S10. So even if sometimes the S10 was faster, the iPhone 11 is still a cheaper phone in the brand new market, but in the used market, S10 is faster. So kind of weird. Now that we're back, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys laughed a little bit too. You guys can take a break from this video if you want to. But now we're gonna be moving on to the cameras. We have two 12 megapixel sensors on the iPhone 11, but two 12 megapixel sensors, as well as a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor on the Samsung Galaxy S10. Now you do have the similar type of layout on the iPhone 11 Pro as on the S10, a wide angle lens, a telephoto lens, and an ultra wide sensor where the iPhone 11 has the wide angle lens and an ultra wide angle lens, no telephoto lens there. And some of the core features are pretty much the same, 4K up to 60 frames per second. You have some of the same features as well, but you just lack that telephoto lens. And the Samsung Galaxy S10 definitely, in my opinion, has way more features than the iPhone 11 in terms of stocks, you know, camera app and everything. But the iPhone 11 with iOS 13.2 is getting a little bit better, so it's not completely horrible. But what I'll tell you is, in terms of the camera, I've always found that Samsungs have done really, really well on their back cameras. They're not bad, they're not ugly, they're not this or that. They seem to be the best, in my opinion. The iPhone 11, though, is a very good sensor, and even comparing it to the previous generation, or even like the iPhone XS or iPhone X, whatever, I found it to be a very good upgrade. There's definitely pros, you know, but 
the only con is a telephoto lens, which isn't that bad, but I still kind of think I prefer the Samsung Galaxy S10's camera. On the front, we have a 10 megapixel sensor on the Samsung Galaxy S10, but a 12 megapixel sensor on the iPhone 11. And one of the coolest things about the iPhone 11 is that with that front camera, you can do 4K videos, but not only that, but you can do 4K at up to 60 frames per second, where you can only do 4K at up to 30 frames on the Samsung Galaxy S10. So that is a pretty big feature right there. Not too sure which one is the better one, but in my opinion, that's definitely one of the coolest things about the iPhone iPhone 11. Now moving on to the battery life, kind of weird. We have a 3110 mAh battery on the iPhone 11 and a 3400 mAh battery on the Samsung Galaxy S10. In terms of the actual battery life, I would probably say the iPhone 11 has the better battery life overall, but the Samsung Galaxy S10 has this really cool feature of reverse wireless charging. And even though that's a feature of the phone, I still want to give it the benefit of the doubt and call it a camera feature. So without a doubt, I'll definitely tell you iPhone 11 better battery life, but the Samsung Galaxy S10 has better battery features in my opinion. And to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison dude what i'll tell you is if you're going to have to buy a brand new device let's say you have to go through your contract or your phone whatever i will say an iphone 11 is the better value per dollar in a brand new market but the samsung galaxy s10 is the better phone all the way around you're getting the better build quality better screen micro sd card slot fingerprint on another screen which could be a bad thing could be a good thing headphone jack still and so many other things but the iPhone 11 at that $699 price tag is pretty compelling, but I would rather pick up a used Samsung Galaxy S10 over a brand new one of either of these devices in my opinion. That would be a much better value per dollar. Once the iPhone 11 depreciates a little bit more in their price tag, it'll be a little bit better of a buy, but as of right now, I would rather pick up a brand new iPhone 11 or a used Samsung Galaxy S10. So and that kind of covers up that. If you have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out to them